Now to Manti Teo, the football star at the heart of that bizarre hoax, sitting down for his first on-camera interview with ABC News anchor Katie Couric, telling what he knew, what he says he did not, and how even his parents were duped by belief in a girlfriend who did not exist. Tonight, we have a special first look at her exclusive interview. Katie will be here in a moment, but with the story, Matt Gutman. Mante Teo tells ABC's Katie Couric he was duped, in love with a woman he met online four years ago, but never saw. A woman he thought died of cancer in September. He spoke of her throughout his epic football season, even two days after the woman pretending to be his girlfriend called him to say she was alive. Was this intoxicating in a way for you, Manti? I think for me, the only thing I basked in is that you know, I could, I had an impact on people that people turn to me and for inspiration. And I think that was the only thing I focused on. You know, my story, I felt was a guy who, in times of hardship and in times of, of trial, uh, really you know, held strong to his faith, held strong to his family. And I felt that that was my story. Even if that hardship was perhaps exaggerated? No, it was what I went through was real. You know, the feelings, the, the pain, the sorrow, that, that was all real. Behind the elaborate hoax, this, this man. And this is Renaya. Renaya Teresa Sopo, a Christian singer seen in these YouTube videos. And still you never let go of me. Teo says made Lene Kakua his alter ego, at first reaching out to Teo on Facebook. Tonight, Teresa Sopo is likely holed up in his family's home where no one is talking. Hey guys. Can we just talk to you for one sec? But Teo's father is talking, defending his son. People can speculate about what they think he, he, he is. I've known him 21 years of his life. And he's not a liar. He's a kid. Matt Gutman, ABC News, Los Angeles. And ABC's anchor Katie Couric is here right now. Such a twisted story. After you talk to him, what's the moral of the story? Well, I think the moral of the story is uh, be careful who you're communicating with online. Be skeptical, even cynical perhaps. I think he sincerely thought he was having a relationship with a woman named Lene Kakua online, on the phone. We saw his phone records, Diane. There were multiple calls to this number where he would stay on the phone for hours. And so I, I, we also heard voicemails from her that he had on his phone that sounded very legitimate. And you talked to his parents as well, and his parents too were beguiled by her, well, had was, a relationship with her. It thought. was such an intricate uh, web of lies, and even they were sucked in. His mom talked to her multiple times on the phone. They had sort of almost a Bible study. His father would text her scripture passages and discuss them. Uh, and so I think they were as stunned as he was when they found out that this was all sort of a mirage. Well, as you said, it's such a psychological maze you enter, and we're going to get to hear from him at last. We will all be watching. Thank you so much, Katie. And be sure to watch tomorrow, Katie Couric sitting down with Manti Teo, and it airs on her show, Katie, tomorrow.